In this video presented by www.free-academy.com, we're going to be practicing trigonometric derivatives by doing problems in 15 out of the text. Problem 15 gives us f of x is equal to sine squared x plus cosine squared x. Now this is interesting because we've never tackled a sine squared or a cosine squared before, so how do we do this? Well, what we need to do is rewrite it as sine of x times sine of x. and cosine of x times cosine of x. Because that's what squared is. It's something multiplied by itself once. So sine of x, sine of x, cosine of x, cosine of x. And what's the next step? Well, it's going to be the product rule. And we're going to need to do the product rule in finding the derivative of both of our terms here. So we have f and g are both equal to sine of x. So f prime and g prime are both equal to each other, and they're both equal to cosine of x. And actually, this is a little misleading here. I'm off using physics notation. All right, uh, let's say that this is f1, g1, f1 prime, g1 prime, and this is f2, g2. So f2 equals cosine of x, g2 equals cosine of x, f2 prime equals derivative of cosine is negative sine of x, and g2 prime is equal to negative sine of x. So now we're going to have to do the product rule. f prime of x is going to equal f1 prime g1 plus g1 prime f1. And then doing the product rule on the second term, it'll be f2 prime g2 plus g2 prime f2. This is just using the product rule on each of the terms here. So now that we have that, it's just a matter of plugging and chugging everything in. f1 prime is cosine of x times g1, which is sine of x, plus g1 prime, which is sine of x, times f1, which is, I'm sorry, g1 prime is cosine of x times f1, which is sine of x, so that's another cosine x sine x. This is going to be plus f2 prime, which is negative sine of x, plus g2, which is cosine of x, plus g2 prime, which is minus sine of x, times f2, which is cosine of x. Now take a look at what we have here. We have cosine of x minus sine cosine of x, those cancel. And then cosine of x sine of x minus sine x cosine of x, those cancel too. So our derivative, f prime of x, is equal to 0. This may be a surprising and possibly a shocking result, but it really isn't. Oops. Let's take a look back at our original equation here. f of x equals sine squared x plus cosine of x. And you need to remember the trig identity that sine squared x plus cosine squared of x is equal to 1. So f of x is equal to 1, and the derivative of any constant is equal to 0. So we got exactly the results that we expected, which is just another proof that no matter how you go about these problems, you're still going to lead yourself to what is mathematically the same result. Now let's go on to problem 16, which is f of x is equal to 1 over the cotangent of x. Well, we started off by doing problem 15 the hard way and then showing the easy way. Let's not do that again with 16. Let's make this easy for us. 1 over the cotangent of x is equal to the the tangent of x. This is by definition. 1 over tangent of x is cotangent of x. 
So we have 16 is f of x is equal to tangent of x. To find the derivative, we just need the derivative of tangent of x, which is secant squared of x. And there you have it, the derivative to problem 16.